Hello everybody and welcome back to another video about Dwarf Fortress, or more specifically, a video about Dwarf Fortress hack. Now this is something I don't generally cover on this channel as it's something I try to avoid using myself. However, regardless of how much I use or don't use DF hack, there are a few commands I do quite like using and sometimes need to use. But before we dive into the video itself, I want to talk a little bit about what DF Hack is. DF Hack is a piece of software that one runs concurrently with Dwarf Fortress. It can be downloaded on Steam if you're using the Steam version, or separately if you're using the itch.io version. Now, DF Hack, when you have it downloaded on Steam and you're running the Steam version, assuming the two versions are compatible, when you launch the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress, it automatically launches DF Hack in the background. If you hit tilde on the keyboard, it pops up this lovely screen. This lovely screen here gives you a full list of commands, and these commands can be tweaked and messed with to your heart's desire. Now, there are some commands and tools and things that will happen automatically if DF Hack is running. However, my favorite command, before I dive into the list of commands that I like using, is disable overlay. Now, Disable Overlay simply removes the vast majority of its functionality, allowing you to have a vanilla experience with Dwarf Fortress while DF Hack is still running. It also removes the pesky icon in the corner. So, let's dive into my favorite commands to use in DF Hack. Full heal, or full hyphen heal, is very useful when there is a creature that is damaged that you just really want them to heal and get back to the thing that they're doing. Let's just say it's maybe your favorite dwarf in the fortress and you're like, no, I don't want this dwarf to die, or something else has happened. Full heal can be quite useful for this. Or alternatively, if something messy is going on in your hospital and you just have one dwarf with a bad back and nobody wants to, like, fix him or move him to this thing, you can just fix it. And sometimes that is a godsend that you need to get through a frustrating or completely unfun situation in Dwarf Fortress. The next one here is Auto Dump. Auto Dump allows you to instantly gather or destroy items marked for dumping. So essentially, if you decide, man, I, I really can't get rid of all of the clothing in this fortress, or there is just too much garbage everywhere, or oh my god, what am I going to do with this pile of bodies? Using this command, Auto Dump, you can simply delete them all. If it's if you're in a situation where you just really want them gone, this might be the command for you. Next on my list is Quick Save. Now, some of you might often find yourselves saving every quarter, or alternatively constantly using the save to exit, or using the save and continue playing function, which then creates a hard save, which you don't always want in Dwarf Fortress. Quick Save allows you to have the seasonal save whenever you want it. So just type in Quick Save and the game will save and you can just keep playing. It's, it's that simple. Next on my list is Clean. So Clean allows you to clean everything. There are several variations of Clean, such as Spot Clean, Clean Own, Clean Const, and Cleaners, but Clean is just very useful because it allows you to simply clean a lot of gunk out of the area. Say there's a lot of blood, or a lot of dirt, or a lot of mud everywhere. This is a very quick way to get rid of things. And if you use Spot Clean, it only cleans what's under your mouse, which is also very helpful. So say you suddenly need an area cleaned, this is the best way to do that. The next one is Fix Civil War. Now, you might wonder, why would I need this? Well, let's just say your faction isn't trading with you. And then you go to the world screen and you select your civilization. And then you see that your home faction is exporting terror. This means that you've ended up in a situation where your own faction is at war with you. This can't be fixed in the game normally. However, with the use of the Fix Civil War command, it'll just be gone. And then dwarves will go back to trading with you as normal. Probably the most egregious bugs that is only fixable with DF hack is the Civil War bug, and this is the easiest way to get rid of it. The next on my list is Exterminate. Now, Exterminate is extremely useful. Let's just say your frame rate has randomly disappeared, and you're like, man, what's going on? And then you type in the Exterminate command and press enter, and you see there's 280 Ulm men in Cavern 2. Well... That just won't do. The exterminate command allows you to quickly get rid of a huge group of units at once. If for some reason they are glotting up your FPS and you just can't be asked to go in there and kill them. I am quite uh, guilty, I guess, of using exterminate to fix frame rate in the past in my fortresses. And exterminate is a particularly useful one. Use it sparingly as it is very much just straight up cheating, but can be very helpful at times. On the topic of frame rate, the last one on my list is Extinguish. Now, Extinguish is exactly what it says on the tin. It makes the game think it's raining everywhere. So when you use the Extinguish command, everything fire-related vanishes from the map immediately. It's extremely useful and damn near a lifesaver, if you ask me. Extinguish is possibly my most used DF hack command because, let's be honest, when a Forgotten Beast breathes fire into a room and then your frame rate goes down to one because your dwarves can't cross the, the walkway, it's just a no-brainer. Just extinguish it. 
One other command people wanted me to mention for this video is auto butcher. I don't personally use auto butcher myself, but it does allow you to automate the butchering process of animals if you find that portion of the game tedious. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos like it, you can uh, check out this YouTube channel where there's more Dwarf Fortress content than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. And I also have a second channel, which is Blind Extras, where my VODs appear for my Twitch streams. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. And of course, if you have a favorite DF hack command, leave it down beneath this video. And if you really want to help this video, slap a like on it. It hurts me inside to say that.